WordPress 5.9 is set to go live this week. And with that, it will be some features that we can use right now, plus some features that are available that we can get a sneak peek on that we won't necessarily use just yet. But I'll show you both of those in this video. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Now, 5.9 is the first major release of 2022. And with that will also come the 2022 theme for this. In the first part of this video, I'll show you the full site editing features. These are the ones that we've been talking about with full site editing comes with the block theme. If you have a block theme, then you'll get to see a lot of this going on. But many of us don't have a block theme just yet because it's so new. So if you want to see some of these features in the first part of this video, then you'll either want to set up a staging area or a local installation. You'll want to install the 2022 theme so you can see this. So let's take a look under appearance. When you have a block theme, you'll now see this editor area. So when you click on that, it'll take you to this area where you can customize the look and feel of your whole website. But if you clicked on here, you could customize any of the areas. You could also come down and browse all templates to customize absolutely any part of your website. For instance, you can make change up your single post, what that looks like, how that feels and any of these, including your 404 and your archive pages. Some of the other cool features are the styles area. So this is the area where when you make the changes, it will change all throughout your website. This is where you can change your typography or the way that your font looks. You have the font families from here to choose from. You can also choose the sizes. And once you're clicking on that, you see that immediately changes down at the bottom. You can also change your line height as well as the appearance. So what type of font weight do you want? Light, extra light, regular. You can go through all that. And then once you make those changes, as soon as you click save, if you've made any changes, then that will go site wide. The other site wide features is if you come down to the blocks editor, you notice that it says you can customize the appearance of any of these blocks and that will affect the whole site. I can see this being perfect if you do a lot of buttons or a lot of tables or lists and you want to make them interesting or different. You can change those here and any changes that you make to your buttons or any of these blocks, those will also go site wide. Now, again, you won't see any of this if you have an active theme installed that is not a block theme. So to do that, you'll want to install the 2022 theme that comes with WordPress 5.9. To get the theme, just go to appearance themes and search for the 2022 and you'll see this new editor piece. Now on to some features that all of us will see immediately as soon as we upgrade or update to 5.9. First, you have better block controls. We live and breathe in writing, editing, formatting all of our posts in the block editor. So most of the things that you'll see is the, with the blocks and block editor and pages and posts. One of the first things you have is you have better control over the typography of your blocks. You see here we have the changes that you can make here. These changes only affect the area that you're working on on that particular page or post. The other thing that you'll see is better controls over the list view. This gives you a better representation of what's going on on this page. So you can do things like move things around in a, an easier way up or down and control the items. You also now see HTML anchor text here, and that just helps you get around easier on your page as you're working on it. You also see even more patterns coming to the block editor. Patterns are a combination of blocks in an interesting way to make it more interesting for your viewers or for your readers. You can scroll through and choose from all of the different patterns. This makes it easier to make these interesting styles on your page and post. You also have better heading control. So if you're changing up the headings of them, it makes it much easier. They're all right here for you to make the changes as you need. Another cool feature is there's a new preview look on a link that tells you, it kind of gives you an idea of where this link is going and what that looks like. Another aspect is if you have multiple languages installed on your site, then when you go to log in, you can choose from the drop down which language you prefer. You now also have the navigation block and this will allow you to create a menu from anywhere on your site. You can also choose whether you want it to be responsive, always open or always on for mobile users to see, and you can access it from even within pages and posts. And then as always, and some under the hood changes that they've made for you to explore and use in your own theme. And if you want to dig a little bit deeper into Gutenberg block editor or the block editor and just how to use it, make sure you watch this video next as I walk you through how to get the most out of Gutenberg block editor. And I'll see you over there.